Now, Giovanna Fletcher had an emotional reunion with her sons at the weekend after being crowned the first ever Queen of the Castle. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> OK, it's OK, it's OK! That's the fun of me! I am Lady Hugger. Yeah. Well, Giovanna joins me now. Congratulations, love. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. It all feels so surreal. Um, I feel like I was on a nice little camping trip with some random friends that I'd made. <laughs> and uh, turns out we were making a TV show. Who I know. You, were, you sailed through it and your enthusiasm and, you know, you were so positive. I think that's what people really warm to, especially right now. I think you're the absolute right winner. I did say you were going to win even before you went in, so I'm feeling very smug. Do you think you're a little bit biased? Maybe. <laughs> Might have been, just a wee bit. <laughs> but you really did look like you were having a good time. And even, you know, you, you when people were feeling down, you lifted them up. I absolutely love the show. And I think um, every year it comes on the screen and it is the perfect thing for this time of year anyway. And, um, you know, I literally went in because I love the show and I wanted to have that experience. That's it. I couldn't believe it when I got called and asked to go on. Um, I just had to clear it with Tom first. And then I was like, absolutely. And I just I just loved every second of it. Even the tears, you know, it's um, it's such a wonderful experience. And those 11 people are just so amazing. I know that everyone does jobs and they say, yeah, friends for life. But I literally feel like I could phone any of them and they'd pick up and they'd want to hear what I had to say and they'd want to help if they could or just be an ear. So, yeah, I definitely feel like I've, I've, um, I'm so lucky to have met them all and to have had such an amazing experience. Oh, that's fantastic to hear that. It really is. It's absolutely brilliant. I think, though, you won it when you brought S Club 7, Reach for the Stars, into the camp. for Because that was the thing. Most people just bring something in for themselves. But you, typical you, brought something in that everybody could enjoy. Well, I knew that music was going to be a thing that we were missing. So I, and I took ages to find out, you know, figure out what song. And uh, so I was thinking about all the songs that you listen to at weddings and what one gets everyone up and dancing and feeling good. And then, you know, reach for the stars in terms of trials and stuff. I was like, yeah. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> this is a blast. You can't feel bad when that song's on. You can't. I, don't, I did talk to Tom, though, when you were in the jungle and I said, oh, she didn't take one of yours. But he said it was OK. He gave you a dispensation. He said it was all right. <laughs> but I love, though, is that every single campmate got up straight away and they just danced and they sang. It was amazing, you know, because you can imagine that some people would be like, oh gosh, what's this? What's she doing now? But everyone did and it felt incredible. We had three plays of it as well. Yeah. And we used them all when, um, you know, when all 12 of us were still in camp. So our last night all together, we played it as well. I played it um, another day when someone come back with 12 stars. We just needed a little boost and a celebration. So it was brilliant just to have something to bring us all together um, and their reaction to it was incredible. So although it was something for everyone, their reaction meant so much to me. And I know that you must have missed your boys when you were in there, but how exciting for them to see their mum being a daredevil, doing all these incredible things. You know, that must be amazing. <laughs> Yeah, and they couldn't wait to talk to me and tell me all about it when I got back and they've wanted me to watch bits of it and tell, tell me things that I've done. They actually thought that maybe um, we'd all be moving into the castle, seeing as I am now the Queen <laughs> and that they are now princes. I've, I've told them, I've had to break it to them, we're not actually getting the castle, that's not right. part of the deal. <laughs> no, no. Um, but yeah, I can, you know, if I think of them, uh, you know, seeing me with a snake on my head or anything like that, it really did actually help me in those trials to kind of think the boys are going to be watching and I don't want them to see me being scared or worried about it. And before I went in, actually, I showed uh, Buzz, the oldest, um, the best bits from last year. Mm. And it starts off really well and everyone's happy and everyone's laughing and then the trials start and there's just screaming from everyone. And Buzz suddenly got really scared and he was like, I don't want you to do it, I don't want you to be scared. So I made him a promise that 
um, I would go in there and he would see me laughing and he would see me having a good time. And that really did push me through the whole way. Exactly. I'll tell you what, though, you were, you were sorely missed by the family, especially by your husband, who had to do the school run on his own. He was a little bit stressed. But he must be so I glad to see you back. And I think bedtimes has been interesting. Little Max, the two-year-old, has been up until nine every night. He's literally been falling asleep just before <laughs> the show starts. So Tom's been whizzing downstairs, throwing his uh, like food in the oven, and then watching the show. But it's all it's all kind of going back to normal now, which is nice. I feel like I've come home and it's like back with a bang. Yeah. You know, the tantrum started. Oh, there was <laughs> lovely moments of kisses and cuddles and all of that. And then you know, it doesn't take long before there's fighting and tantrums. Yeah, and all normal. Of that as well. normal, 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 <laughs> yeah. exactly. And he did put up the Christmas decorations. He said he couldn't he couldn't wait for you. I know he told you that he wouldn't. And are they all right? Has he done a reasonable job? He's done an amazing job, really good. And the kids couldn't wait to to look. And I and I said while I was um, in the cast, actually, like Max is only two, and he's putting more and more words together. And I thought, oh God, it got me really emotional thinking about what he's going to be saying by the time I come out. And the first thing he said to me was, "Look, Mama, look, tree." <laughs> I was like, oh. "Oh, that's fantastic!" Listen, tell me about that great big giant crown you got on your head. Have you still got it? What are you doing with yeah. it? Well, Tom keeps putting it on the front door like it's the Christmas wreath. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm keeping it downstairs in my office. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. So it will be kept in there and I'll pull it out whenever, you know, I need to use my queen status. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. It's such an amazing thing and an amazing achievement. It really is. I know because of the way things are right now, you can't have a great big giant celebration, the kind of thing that you'd want to do. But how are you going to mark this, do you think, in the new year? I, I, I want to get together with all campmates. That's something I definitely want to do. Sure. And I sort of, you know, just have a little debrief and hug a lot um, <laughs> if we're allowed. Um, you know, that's the weird thing. Now we've stepped outside, suddenly yes. we're no longer in a bubble and that's going to be really weird. Um, I don't know. I think me and Tom are so used to going through life and having these amazing moments and not properly marking them and celebrating them. So we want to make sure that we actually do something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is, it's going to be a while to, it's going to take a while to digest it because <laughs> it doesn't feel real. You know, I came out of there, went straight to a hotel, spoke to my mum, my dad, my brother, my sister, some friends on the way home in the car, then got straight back into reality at home. So I feel like it's going to take a while to process everything. Um, I still wake up in the night and I'm not entirely sure where I am. So, yeah, I'm probably tired. <laughs> I know. And there'll be lots, of, you know, because you've come across so well, there'll be lots of offers for you to consider. I know you're the busiest woman in the world anyway, and you're, you know, you're doing your podcasts and your books and all of that, but the world is your lobster. So just ah. enjoy, just enjoy, just enjoy the fact that you came, well, you just came across as you, 100% authentic and just absolutely delightful. And I'm so glad, so, so glad that you won, G, and I can't wait to see you. Cannot wait to see you properly. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Oh, just enjoy, enjoy everything that comes your way. Thank you, my angel. Talk to you Thank you soon. so much. Thanks for having me and for all your support. It's amazing. Oh, what a lovely girl. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.